Hey, this is Dr. Tori from RookieDoctor.com. You may have heard of the conference called Health Data Palooza. It's a big conference that happens every year, usually in Washington, D.C. Uh, this year happened to be its fourth year, um, and it has basically multiple people, a who's who in government, in venture capital, in healthcare, uh, and in other various you know, industries that touch healthcare, right? Well, this conference this year had its first hackathon of sorts called Coda Palooza. Okay, and this uh, this event took 24. Well, I think it was 24 teams applied. They accepted 10. They were 10 teams of four that were able to compete. And uh, it turns out that I happen to have been on the winning team, and uh, we were the only team of all physicians. And uh, we came up with something that we think is pretty remarkable. In fact, all the teams came up with something ultra remarkable. I mean, the 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 fact that um, you know, giving data to a bunch of talented, small cadre of people sitting down, thinking about how they can use the data and express it in a different way to better healthcare was so refreshing to see what all the ideas that the teams came up with. But I want to talk to you about not so much the fact that I won or, you know, I'm not bragging about any of that or anything. I want to tell you a, a, a very, very, very important lesson from it. And that is that. Um, you, you know, any of you who are already my members, you already know how I harp on this concept, and that is strengthen your strengths. Don't always focus on your weaknesses. We bring our weaknesses up to the point where they're competencies, okay, so that we're safe, but we focus on our strengths. We strengthen our strengths, okay? That's how you will stand out, okay? I, I would not stand out as, as somebody who has an, you know, who specializes in internal medicine and who for nine years was a sort of a co-management hospitalist with a heart surgery group. You know, that's what I know in medicine, but guess what? That isn't how I stood out. I stood out by things like using talents for uh, influence, which many of you have seen some of the talks that, uh, that I've done on influence and some of the courses done on rapport and influence in healthcare. Um, you know, I stood out by way of doing stuff with computers. You know, making membership sites even is, is a way that uh, helped me stand out because I could apply some of that stuff to healthcare. And now this time, I'm applying some of my design skills, um, you know, what I know of apps and games and gamification. Uh, many of you know I have uh, my own iPhone game company and things like that. Well, I applied those same skills to healthcare with a team of three people that were way, you know, <laughs> I totally didn't belong to in, at the same table as they did, but uh, you know, they're, they're you know, just ultra brilliant. And to be able to sit down with them, work with them together in the team, bring my strengths, they bring their strengths, they were the brilliant minds behind what we built, I helped sort of make it look pretty and uh, it, frame it in a good story and um, you know, that sort of thing. But so I applied my strengths and we stood out. And so that's my message to you. If you're just starting your training, if you're already through your training, or even if you're uh, practicing uh, already or have some other career, the way you're going to stand out is by emphasizing your strengths. And it's, it's, it only makes sense. I mean, it's already what you enjoy doing. It's already what you're passionate about. So, um, you know, so nurture those. Uh, don't, don't look at them like you have to focus on, on your weaknesses. I'm never going to be known for how well I manage thyroid medicine or someone's sugar or blood pressure. No, I'm going to be known for how I influence people or how I coach people up to help them, you know, strengthen their strengths, right? Or how I help with design and code and, and you know, mobile apps and things like that. That's how I'm going to be known. Now for you, it might be something different. And the other thing is, every single person you meet, I mean, no one is wrapped in what their job description is. Every nurse you meet, every social worker, every case manager, every patient, every security guard, every single person you meet has passions, hobbies, interests, things that they do that are more than what their job description will tell you. And so you will just get so much out of it if A, you focus on your strengths, and B, you listen and ask for other people's input when it applies to their strengths. And listen to them, learn from them. You will find some amazing people walking in the hallway right where you're working right now, okay? It's not all about eat, sleep, and drink medicine. Yes, it's important. It's important for, to, to provide the best care for your patient, but that's not all there is. You can provide better care with your patient for your patient and for their families and their caregivers and everyone around you by being passionate about what you're doing. If you're passionate about thyroid and managing, you know, levothyroxine and things like that, fine, then dive in 
and make that your passion and make that how you stand out. But, you know, so that's my message to you. Had a very successful Cotapalooza uh, adventure. It was really fun, refreshing, uh, awesome in lots of ways. And, um, but the, the, key, the key message to you is to strengthen your strengths, work on the things that you already enjoy, the things that you're already uh, talented at doing, and that's how you will stand out, and that's how you will provide value to the world. That is your mark on society, on healthcare, and on humanity in general. So go to it. Strengthen your strengths.